Hi guys, Trigger here, and today I want to talk about Hunter x Hunter, one of the most well-liked shonen of the past generation. Specifically, I want to talk about the series power system, Nen, which may very well be the most positively reviewed of all shonen battle systems. I don't want to waste any time. Nen is just kind of meh. Despite the praise, it feels like a more convoluted version of many simpler shonen power systems. Nen is based on one's personality, and the Nen principles of Ten, Ren, Zetsu, and Hatsu allow you to do certain things like hide or amplify your aura. This is all pretty standard stuff. The coolest part about Nen is the condition because it allows for some incredibly interesting moments. I understand that people enjoy details and specifics, but I personally found having all these terms and explanations to be wholly unnecessary. By the time I'd gone to the Tremere Ant arc, I'd forgotten about all these Nen terms, and by that point, it seemed like everyone just had a unique ability. Most of these other details and specifics are wholly unnecessary. Then there are the Nen categories, which seem fine at first but lack any sort of guiding theme. Naruto, as an example, has chakra natures, which gives you the four classical elements plus lightning. Makes sense for the most part. But enhancing your body and objects is a Nen type, but so is emitting Nen from your body, but so is creating objects from Nen. Why this distinction? What makes a mission and conjuration with two totally separate end categories besides the fact that one's better at manipulation and one's better at transmutation? And that leads me to my biggest problem with Nen. It doesn't feel natural. We're told that Nen is natural life energy that the user draws out of themselves. But Nen doesn't feel that way at all. It feels absolutely artificial, like it's the power system of a video game rather than magical powers coming from someone's spirit. It doesn't help that Nen doesn't really have internal consistency within the world that it inhabits either. We're told that Nen is a closely guarded secret to be hidden from the public at large, and only belongs in the hands of an elite few, which is why none of our protagonists recognize it, including Kalua, who absolutely should because of his familiar bonds, and even recognize his grandfather's Nen technique without knowing what Nen is and being unable to see it, somehow. But I'm going off on a tangent. The world at large doesn't know about Nen, but highly broadcasted fights like Kashu and Hisoka are just allowed to happen for anyone to see. I understand that the audience can't see Nen, but in a fight like this, it'd be incredibly obvious to me that something supernatural is going on, and would motivate many, if not all the people who saw it, to look for its secrets. How on earth is Nen any kind of secret? Sure, Gon lives on a relatively obscure island. Kropka is from a secluded clan. I can understand them not knowing, but the world at large not knowing is unbelievable. Nen exists as a way for Takashi to have characters effectively come up with the power they want. The Nen types and conditions exist as a method of balancing these powers. Basically, Nen is, invent your own power but keep it balanced. But when you look at the powers from a critical lens, it makes their creators look stupid while leaving people like me questioning how strong you can make yourself if you actually properly optimized your Nen. Which, when we look at Gon, is incredibly strong. Why did Franklin decide to cut off his fingertips? Just for more power? Aren't there easier ways to do that? Why did Phaeton choose to make his power only work when he takes damage? That is exceptionally risky and there are smarter ways to fight, especially for someone like him who relies on speed. Why would Krolo design his own power to stop working when his book closes? I understand that he needs conditions for his power to work, but why that specific condition? That is an absolutely massive flaw, and I don't really believe that he couldn't have been maxed his powers around it, especially when we have someone like Kropka running around with his abilities. The choices of conditions make some characters look stupid, or outright insane when I know that isn't Takashi's intention. In my eyes, the best power systems are those that are straightforward and are irreplaceable, that are firmly baked into the world's story and themes. Something like alchemy in Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemy is FMA, and it makes eternal sense. It's hard to say that Nen is nearly as important to its setting when it isn't even in the first couple arcs of the story, even when it should be. Nen is widely considered to be the best power system in Shonen. To some, it's one of the best in media. But to me, it's kinda meh. But I'm just one guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It really helped me out. And feel free to check out more videos right now.